Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Living Life by Life You. I am your host, Dr. Veronica Garcia, and today I am joined by a very adventurous piece of Life University, student of Life University, Mr. Jaden Colon. Hi, welcome. How are you? Um, good today. Good, good. Welcome to Life University. Where, 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 tell me a little bit about Jaden. Where are you in the program? What program are you in? Um, I'm in the business program, mm -hmm. and uh, I also wrestle, mm -hmm. and um, I love it here. My experience of life has been amazing. All the people have been amazing here. Like yeah. I like all my teachers, and um, I'm, I'm glad I came here. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And so you are a student, and you are an athlete. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that balance, because a lot of people don't really understand it. What You are a wrestler, right? Mm -hmm. So how, do you, how have you learned to balance your life in between being a student, being a wrestler, and kind of just succeeding at both of those? Um, honestly, what's worked for me, so I have like a to-do list yeah. and like a planner that I have. And like, if I don't have that, my whole day is crazy. Mm -hmm. So when, like I wake up, I have to be like, okay, 9 a.m. class, then after gym, mm -hmm. then study, then mm -hmm. class again. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's helped me a lot. That's awesome. So yeah. having, so just building a routine, sticking to it, mm -hmm. driving through it. Um, are you currently staying on campus? Yes. So are you at the Commons? I'm at How the Commons. has been that experience of living at the Commons? Honestly, it's been it's been amazing because like I like when I, for example, like today, right, I'm going to go to the gym later and I know I can just like go knock on two doors uh -huh. and my buddies are like ready, like, come on, let's go, let's That's go work out. And I just have access to like friends. Yeah. You know? You build a community. Mm -hmm. It's helped you build a community a little bit faster? Uh, yes. Yeah. Most where definitely. Where did you come from? Like, what, you're at Life University. Mm -hmm. Before that, where were you at? Well, I was originally, I was born in Puerto Rico. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then my family moved to Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, when I was about, like, 10 years old. Oof. Yep. And, um... It's very cold over there. And <laughs> yes, it is. As a yeah. Puerto Rican, yes, yes. Yeah. So it was, it was a big change for me. And like also learning English, but I learned that pretty fast. Yeah. But then um, there was a, it was a funny story how I got here because so after I graduated high school, mm -hmm. I was looking for different colleges and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just really didn't find a college that suited me mm -hmm. so I kind of just took a year off mm -hmm. which was a good decision mm -hmm. because like a year after high school my uncle he's he's a barber he um he owns a barber shop down the street from life mm -hmm. and he calls me up he's like hey man um there's a school and they have a good wrestling program check it out and my uncle got me in contact with the coach, and that's how I'm here. So it's awesome. Yeah. So how how beautiful that how life chooses you. Yes, life university chooses you, but also how life just kind of intertwines into the yeah, different experiences. What what were you doing? How would you say that taking that year off kind of helped you prepare for this this being ready for college and being a student athlete? Um, it helped me a lot in terms of like maturity mm -hmm. because. Being in high school, mm -hmm. you can't really have a full-time job. Mm -hmm. So after high school, you know, working 40 hours was like, um, at first it was really hard for me to deal with because it's like, oh my God, like this is a lot, mm -hmm. like 40 hours a week, you know. Mm -hmm. But eventually I got used to it. Mm -hmm. And then also like paying bills. I started paying mm -hmm. bills. I started helping my mom. Mm -hmm. Car insurance. Obviously, I'm young. I'm 18, <laughs> so the bills go through the Very roof. Very high. Yep, and mo it's helped me a lot um, financially, um, like how I handle my money. Uh -huh. I feel like if I would have came here straight out of high school, I would have just kind of been a little bit more um, careless mm -hmm. when it came to my money. Mm -hmm. So that was that was pretty good. And you're here on a scholarship. Uh, yeah. I'm here That's on a scholarship. amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank That's you. really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, what what year are you in the business program? Um, I'm a freshman. Nice. Yeah, so. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. So how has it been to kind of adapt to the Life University's um, just mission and vision, lasting purpose and, vital and vitalism? How would you say you've been able to adapt and change? Because I know that culturally it can be a little bit, not a little bit, a lot different mm -hmm. from who we are and what we do. But how have you been able to adapt to this? 
Um, mostly how I present myself, you know, like how I speak and how I communicate with other people. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been working on that a lot with my uncle mm -hmm. and, um, like I, for me, I feel like appearance like means a lot. Mm -hmm. And, um, like if you rub off on somebody mm -hmm. a certain way, mm -hmm. it just, a pathway for like new opportunities, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just first impressions are, are a big thing. Yeah, they, they are. really are. And, and whether we like it or not, yes, we can always build from them, but it's so nice to have that first strong first impression that allows us to connect. And like you say, just creating new opportunities. Mm -hmm. Um, what would you say having been here for how long have you been here? On the um, I this is my third quarter, third quarter. Yeah. Okay. So not yet a year. How mm -hmm. would you, what would you say would be a piece of advice to a person that's kind of considered Considering this wrestling and uh, program at Life University and coming in, what would you say would be a piece of advice for them to mm -hmm. come in? Well, first off, schedule is everything. You need you need to have your whole week planned out because if not, there's so much downtime. Mm -hmm. Like for example, I have class at nine and I have another class at three. Mm -hmm. So from eleven to three, there's a lot of downtime mm -hmm. and you and you just cannot, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, you can relax. It's mm -hmm. okay to relax, mm -hmm. but. Um, you have to work in like studying, mm -hmm. going to practice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also studying is a big thing because, mm -hmm. you know, in high school you can get by without studying and yeah. you can just go through the motions. But when you come to college, you have to study. Yeah. It's very important. You have to put out at least six hours a week mm -hmm. of studying. Mm -hmm. That's be that's good. That's yeah. really good because I do remember kind of going from high school straight into college mm -hmm. and my first semester I was just like, la la la, la, yeah. la. I'm an athlete, I'm, I'm in school, yeah. this is great. Mm -hmm. um, but really truly kind of having a mentor to tell me, hey, Veronica, bring it down and let's let's mm -hmm. go ahead and hone in into what you're here for. It's it's not the same game and it's not the same game also as as an athlete either. So what have been some of your highlights with the with the team so far? Are you in season? Are you gonna be in season? Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Okay, so right now I'm out of season uh -huh. and then I redshirted my first year. So um I kind of just been taking this year as like grind mode mm -hmm. get better mm -hmm. um watch a lot of film mm -hmm. go to practice every day get connected with my coaches and stuff like that mm -hmm. but um a big highlight for me was when our team won um national duels yeah. that was pretty crazy we um say you know every i live at the commons yeah so they put the national duels like on the big team and there's like 60 people there just watching to my team on so that was pretty amazing for me wow yeah. what what a great experience yeah. i i love that i love that you gave yourself this opportunity to come from Ohio down to Georgia, mm -hmm. experience a little bit of the true heat of Puerto Rico in here, mm -hmm. <laughs> at right. least through the summer, <laughs> but also just to build and connect with the community and start it, starting fresh. Congratulations. It's Thank a you. big leap of faith and you've done it and it looks like you're absolutely winning at it. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Um, good luck on the rest of your time at Life University. Good luck when you come into season and when you start wrestling back and good luck with the rest of your finals, which I know are around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. <Ooh. laughs> no, you've got this. Hey, I'm sure you've got hey, this. Hey. Well, Jaden, thank you so much for taking yeah, the opportunity to being here and to doing this podcast with us. Good luck on the rest of your journey. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Living Life, a Life You. Bye.